Okay, so I'm going to show you how to replace this water pressure regulator. It's not working properly. Uh, it's running beyond the recommended pressure range. Um, inspector said it was running around 100 to 120 psi. So it's a Model 70 from Wilkinson, and I got one with similar specs. And I made sure I was lucky enough to take a picture of its size. It's a one inch pipe or one inch size pressure regulator. So basically, all the wrenches I had at home weren't big enough. So I ended up getting this plumber's wrench. Uh, the nut sizes are about two inches in uh, diameter. So this entire, this is what came with the kit. Uh, two sets of nuts and then um, this pressure regulator. The model number is about the same, model 70 XL instead of just model 70. So I ended up getting this XLDU and the size is definitely the same, one inch. Alright, I'm going to go ahead, I think most of the water has been drained out and start opening up this current pressure regulator. Now sometimes this could be attached, like I saw on some other YouTube videos, right next to the water heater. But luckily, this one's in a nice, convenient location outside. And I'm just going to put a nut, that plumber's wrench around it and open it up. Let's see if we got the right size on. Good enough, hopefully, it won't rust. I'll just clean it up afterwards. Right, get a nice, tight, snug fit and start to take it off. Alright. Okay. So we managed to take off the top one, now it's time to get to that bottom one right there. Alright, so I'm trying to loosen this one up right here and basically this is going to probably hit into the wall and I don't want to want it to eat into this uh, paint right here. So I'm basically put it like a wooden block or something to block the way and then instead of holding it in place because it's loosening at the same time while I'm loosening the knot. Okay, so because the bottom end the thread's upside down, so we have to rotate it counterclockwise to loosen it instead of clockwise like we did last time. And there you go. Loosen that one up. It fell down there. Let's see if we can pull it out now. Put that little piece of block there so that this wouldn't hit into the wall. Alright, now we can put in a new one in. See if we can take off this. All right, so we're taking off that O-ring, and there's is there a way to take this off? No, there's no way to take it off. So I'm gonna have to use the current one. That's kind of lame. I would have liked to use the new one, but oh well. Okay. So I can't take off these original nuts. It looks like they got a little flange there. That's preventing them from coming off. So I'll just use these same ones, but I'll make sure that I replace them with new O-rings. So I guess I won't be able to use these, but I'll be able to use the O-rings that came with it. Okay, so I've managed to get the O-ring down there at the bottom and then I'm going to go for the bottom end first just so it doesn't it doesn't move around and then I'm going to put the O-ring at the top because it was kind of hard to put it on at the same time. So right now there's no O-ring there. That's just the flange right there. Okay, so it's kind of really hard to get that second O-ring in first right now so I'm going to tighten it up from the bottom and see if I can open, uh, tighten up enough to create a gap and put in the second O-ring. 
Okay, so basically got this tightened down as much as I could so I could create enough of an opening to install that o-ring up at the top and now you can tighten the knot up at the top. Okay, so got the top nut tightened after we tightened this bottom one all the way and we were able to install the o-ring. Now we're going to open up the, the pipes. Okay, you can hear that. Any leaks? All right. Let's try to open up the water. Yep. All right. All right. That's that's it. We're done. Strain that out. We should be good to go.